Welcome back to Living Dayton. Well, the statistics are staggering. One out of every five students report being bullied. But there are things our kids can do to prevent it from happening in their school. Matt is from Asian Arts Center and he has tips so kids can stand up to bullies. I just ask you, is it getting any better? And you said not no, it's, really. it's, get, it's getting worse. I read Gosh. on um, one of the, the big uh, news networks yesterday that a father invited the bullies who picked on his daughter until she took her life to the funeral so they could see what they had done. Oh my goodness. Wow. And so no, it's, it's not getting any better in the solutions that we teach kids. Self-confidence self and self-esteem will always be the best antidote to bullying. And that's my specialty. I've been teaching kids how to do that for so many years, over 20 years, but there's just not enough time. And when your child is getting picked on, pushed around, teased, physically abused, made fun of on social media, they need immediate help, they need it right now. And so I have three tips or three tools that you can equip your child with to help them speak up and stand up to a bully. So the number first one, one is reach out. <laughs> yeah, yes, number one. one to know. Yeah. Re well, reach out. And, and again, you know, now it's more important than ever because so much, so many kids spend their, their whole day, their whole life is in social media for a lot of kids. And so when they're getting picked on and teased there especially, they feel completely alone. So when you see it, you tell your child when you see it, you reach out, you say, hey, I saw that, I saw what was online, or I saw that kid in the hallway do that to you. Are you okay? Tell them to reach out, and then that also helps them understand that when it's happening to them, somebody can reach out to them too. Or maybe go with that child to a, the counselor or the principal. Say, hey, I'll go with you. Yeah, absolutely, and that's the second step. Speak up yeah. and tell your children this. This is so important. It is not telling, it's reporting. Mm. If the building were on fire, if there's a car accident, you call 911 and you report it. It's not tattletelling. No child wants to be labeled a tattletale, right. and so they let a lot of it go. And you allow the teacher, you force the teacher, you allow the adult who can take responsibility and take action to take action when you teach them to report it and speak up. Probably the biggest one is protecting yourself. Don't be afraid to do that, right? Absolutely, and not all bullying is physical anymore, but a lot of it is, and a lot of it's connected. There's a, the child gets picked on or pushed around, beat up, got in a fight, and then they take their uh, cameras out and they post it all over social media mm. because everybody's got the camera now. Yep. And then that makes it even worse because now they feel like everybody has seen it. So I teach kids, and I want you to teach your kids this, to start with the hands up and create a hands physical like barrier. Mm -hmm. And this is so important because when they step back and they put their hands up as high as they can see it, there's something that happens mentally that starts to build their confidence. And the second barrier is this verbal barrier where I speak up and I say no, no, stay back. And if you know their name, use the other child's name because it's a pattern interrupt. Some of these kids get so used to picking on and teasing other kids, you have to make them stop and think. And the third one, of course, is your mental barrier. You've raised your hands, you spoke up, now you're ready to defend yourself. Great and, tips. and you have to. If you have no other choice, you have to. Great tips, Matt. It's always great to have you here. And if you want to get in touch with Matt, there is his information right there, Asian Arts Center, located right in Kettering.